gonna be frank here, this is probably the weirdest game I've ever backed on Kickstarter. Not that I've got a problem with that, mind you. Different is good, different is interesting. If you feel like you've been playing the same thing over and over again lately, different is exactly what you need to help break that tedium. It's probably why I love creating games and concepts that feel that way. Because sometimes, a game doesn't need combat to be fun, or even a real conflict of any kind. All you need is the desire to do something a little more laid back for a while, and Dog Sled Saga is exactly that. You're not trying to catch them all, you're not trying to save the world, and there's not even a real emphasis on personal gain. You just grab some dogs and go racing. Now, don't worry, mechanically it's a lot deeper than that. In a race, your dogs will tend to get tired as you mush them along, so how do you keep their spirits up? By lobbing them treats mid-race, of course. Oh, but try to feed them exactly when they need it, though. That's called a perfect throw, and it boosts their morale even more than normal. You might also encounter rocks during a race that you'll have to jump over, strong wind and large trees that will make getting treats to your team more difficult, and of course, other racers that must be passed to win. Overcoming these obstacles in style might even cause your dogs to get fans. Famous dogs attract sponsors, who in turn give you special bonuses like weekly income, better equipment, and the one that you will get absolutely destroyed later on for not having a bigger bag for carrying more treats. So now that you know how to race, how do you make the best team to race with? For starters, each dog has a personality that tells you what position on the team to put them in. This information doesn't tell you what position they're good at, however, only which ones they'll struggle with. By rule of thumb, you should always start with a team of one of each personality just to cover your bases. Dogs also have a favorite thing, such as a particular type of weather, catching perfectly timed throws, passing rivals in a competition, etc. If this thing occurs during a race, their overall happiness will go up, which is important because if their happiness ever gets too low, they might start showing their personal faults during races, making it significantly harder to win. There are even more mechanics behind how your dogs can develop skills, how to manage their fatigue, how to prevent your team from getting tangled up in the rope during a run, and so on. But the cool thing is how you learn all of it. After every race, you get to chat with Raleigh, a fellow musher, and a fountain of knowledge that will slowly reveal to you information about how everything works. So even if you don't understand all the mechanics, rest assured that one way or another, you will figure it out eventually. There's no real narrative in Dog Sled Saga. Hell, the closest thing you have to a story and overall goal in this game is the way you can ascend to different leagues as your skill increases. You pay a flat sum of money to enter the race, and if you win, you can take on tougher and more profitable races that can test you even further. However, be aware that the higher your league is, the more money you'll have to pay at the end of every month to stay in it. If you can't make ends meet, you might have to move down to a lower league temporarily, so you're encouraged to only make the move up if you know you can win enough to afford it. You can also use this money to buy more dogs if you wish, just in case either a race you want to enter requires a larger team, or you're just looking for canines with more favorable skills and aptitudes. And really, that's all there is to spend money on right now. This game is still in early access, so a lot of features that are planned to be in it, like breeding dogs to get the skills you want and traveling cross-country on a trek, haven't been implemented yet, so I do plan on following this up with a full review when they release version 1.0. So far though, I've legitimately enjoyed the little I've gotten. I love the super ambient music, which I unfortunately couldn't find anywhere. I'm also a big fan of the very back-to-nature feel of this. Maybe it's because I've always had an affinity for snowy landscapes, but they just come across really well realized in this 8-bit style, especially at during the different times of day or in the different weather conditions. The team behind this has also promised to add even more little details to it as time goes on, like deer in the background looking on as you race, or a hawk flying beside you. They're small touches, but they really emphasize how beautiful this game can be sometimes, and surprisingly atmospheric. And considering you can pick it up for about 8 bucks, you won't hear me say this often, but this is an early access game that's actually worth being a part of early. If you have a taste for nature, lower key experiences, pixel art, or just have a love for dogs in general, definitely keep your eye on this one as it develops.